So a little bit of a different video today. I downloaded and printed this Dummy 13, which is a fully articulating figure here. And he prints out in these kit cards. I think that it has some really cool design features. And so I'd like to just highlight those as we build one of these. So like I said, it prints out in these kit cards. One is the internal frame and the other is the armor. So that's one of the first really nice design features. Uh, some of these little parts with the little ends on them, if they didn't have these pieces of the kit card connecting them, they might actually peel up. That's one of the uh, harder things to print is these little pieces on a plate where if there's a little end to it, it might start peeling away from the actual build plate. Um, so that kind of reduces the ability of that happening. That being said, I had one of these fail, but that was a large flat portion. So I think I just needed to clean my build plate and I was able to go back and print that on its own using the cut feature in Bamboo Studio. So you just slice the file once this way, once that way, and you're left with just a little piece in the corner so you can print it out again. The creator of these models, Lucky 13 Toys, also grouped these by the parts that they are. So you have the torso, you have the legs on either side of here, you have an arm and another arm, and then the different hand poses in the middle. Same thing over here, torso, hips, leg, or sorry, leg over here, and arm over here. So just really well thought out and well designed. So let's start putting this thing together. Need the head. And the neck piece. As well as this piece here. and the double ball joint. So right in here, we already have two design features that I'm a really big fan of. This piece here has that loop, which means that it's, it's kind of compliant. And when you push it into the hole that it mates with, it's gonna squeeze just enough to let it in but then pop back out so it holds its shape. And that's going into this hole here in the head. So we can just line those up. And squeeze that in there. And then the second really cool feature on these is the, all these ball joints. They just snap together. They're really nicely designed something you can definitely put in your back pocket for maybe one of your next designs when it comes to 3d printing and this goes together with no tools which i really love and the little neck piece goes on the back of the neck there now we can move to the torso we got the main torso piece and the bottom of it as well as this bigger torso piece here again just a press fit which I'm really fond of you can see the little indents on this lower portion and there's tabs on the inside of that upper torso. And so once it's in there, it just sits in those indents and, and holds it all together. Thank you. 
a neat portion where you just slide that over. Over that piece. can only go in the one way where they lock in. Just incredibly well thought out. Um, just really think that this is a good a good design and really reminds you of what's capable of 3D printing. Not everything has to be a print in place. There can be some assembly. There we have the main torso and the head and the hips. Now we're going to do the legs and over here. The legs are these corners here for the frame, so we'll pop out one entire leg. Now comes another cool feature is this swivel here. So you have like a little cylindrical piece on that joint and then a slot for it to feed into here. And it's press fit like that and that means that you only have freedom swiveling in this axis, which is pretty cool. And then if you lock it into the leg here now it's actually captured in there, which I think is really neat. Now you have another, <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying another cool feature. I love the way this thing goes together. So you have this clip here that acts as the knee basically and it clips on to that portion there. Gives you a swivel. And then same feature on the other side, which gives you a articulating knee joint. And you can see that the same little clip feature uh, that was on the head is also on the knee, which allows you to attach the little kneecap here. on there and we have that fully articulating knee now we can put on the, the hip here so we have a leg and this little hip cap I guess you could call it pops on the side We can do his foot real quick. There you go. Just the number of, of pressed together features is really, really cool on these. Now 
do it again for the other leg. Now he has two legs. We can move on to his arms. really getting into this rut of thinking that everything I print needs to be my own design but I think there's a ton of value in printing other people's designs and just seeing the different techniques that they're using and the different features that they've used and this one just has a lot of really cool things that I felt like I needed to share with you guys. You can let me know in the comments what you think of this model but I really think that Lucky 13 Toys did a really good job here. I have no relation to them. I just uh, just feel like this is a really great 3D model and if you have some spare time and some spare filament, I think this is a really, really neat one to put together. Now with the arms, a lot of the same features like that swivel, that swivel joint that gets captured by the uh, the forearm here. Oh, my bad. It's captured by this little guy here, and this one goes into the forearm. Trying to move too quick here. There we go. And then very similar as before. We have that same knee joint that hooks onto both features. Cut there's no knee pad. No, yeah. there's no knee cap. We just have this little elbow piece that kind of covers it up. Then we can give it a hand. I like these uh, these open hands, the fingers splayed. And we can put this ball joint together and the shoulder cap. Is this a, a working arm? You can do it again here. Dummy 13. So here's the Dummy 13 on the display stand. It allows you to position things in the air if you wanted some flying poses or stuff like that. 
It'll let you do those types of poses, or you just have him standing, or maybe he's on one leg. Let's you balance him if he's doing a kick pose like that. Or you can have him standing on his own without the, uh, the stand in the back. But let me know what you think of this type of video, and I'll see you in the next one.